the bold move to make a narcissist silent and can't talking. This video will provide an overview of how to induce regret in a narcissist. It is possible that you wish to lower a narcissist's self-esteem. Narcissists who experience self-awareness and realize they have done wrong should apologize and seek forgiveness. That being said, I do comprehend the reasoning behind such a need. In this presentation, I will demonstrate how to humiliate a narcissist in a way that yields results. Again, good morning, and I pray this email finds you well in content. Our intended victim is a self-centered individual who we hope to humiliate. However, we must first investigate the motivations behind this work. Attempting to elicit an emotional response from someone who has already demonstrated they cannot is a waste of time. The danger that comes from people who are both toxic and unable to grow is real. We still hope they will feel regret when they see the damage they've done. Narcissists often make snap decisions. The moment they perceive an assault on their pride, they snap. This being the case, the strategy of reverse psychology can be employed to elicit a response. To the opposite of what the narcissist expects to get the desired result. It's not the same thing to make a narcissist feel something as it is to get a reaction from them. This second scenario is highly improbable. Yet, even the most self-absorbed individuals can be persuaded through the application of reverse psychology. Consider implementing this potential solution. Use reverse psychology on a narcissist to get what you want out of a conversation. People with a critical demeanor are stereotyped as being overly sensitive to criticism. The narcissist might feel remorse and guilt if they try to change their behavior and instead focus on others. Refraining from investing too much of yourself in the interaction is the best way to handle a narcissist. Keeping your emotions in check will deny the narcissist the satisfaction of witnessing your emotional breakdown, which will lessen their pleasure in your suffering. Narcissists are highly perceptive people who can read even the most minute changes in your body language and tone of voice to infer your emotional state. It's best to keep your cool and not show any emotion when interacting with a narcissist. The narcissist's intentions and motivations could be questioned if they act in this way. Apologizing to a narcissist is pointless because they have no capacity for empathy. This individual has difficulty evoking an emotional response from others because they are so preoccupied with their own thoughts. Remember that a narcissist can never be relied on for emotional support or validation of any kind. No one can gain confidence by spending time with a narcissist. Instead, it must come from within. Although reverse psychology can be effective in the short term, it ultimately fails. Confronting a narcissist in the hopes of changing their behavior is fruitless. Reverse psychology may be effective in the short term, but it will backfire in the future. Alternatively, if you want to get someone's attention, you can sometimes induce stress through silence. Reducing your interactions with the narcissist communicates that you place a higher value on the relationship than he or she does. Learning to say no is the first step toward reclaiming your life from a narcissist. Attempts to persuade them to change their minds or demonstrate empathy are futile and will only serve to increase their influence over time. Remember that narcissists lack empathy and are completely self-absorbed. You can avoid falling prey to their manipulations if you simply ignore them. Don't let yourself be manipulated by your mind. Instead, take charge of your life and make your happiness and well-being a top priority. Narcissists care only about themselves and their own needs. The fact that they can force others to admit guilt or apologize when they don't want to is proof of this. It's futile to try to relate to someone who is emotionally distant and preoccupied with themselves. Once their own requirements are met, narcissists have no concern for the needs of others. Someone who is emotionally distant and insensitive will not provide you with the support and sympathy you require. I would like to thank everyone who has watched this video to its conclusion. I sincerely hope you have gained something from this article. I appreciate your time, but I must now depart. Let's review the video's key points. Who do you know who is completely self-centered and different to your feelings? This lesson will discuss how to interact with narcissists. Do not waste your time attempting to make narcissists regret their action towards you. 
they only care about their own interests and lack compassion for others. However, with some reverse psychology, you can convince them to listen to you. Getting a narcissist to react requires going against their expectations. Remember that the use of reverse psychology is not the same as trying to degrade another person's self-esteem. Try not to show any signs of emotion and keep your cool when talking to narcissists. Avoid letting your opponents get any insight into your state of mind by showing any signs of emotion. It is also pointless to try to apologize to a narcissist because they lack empathy. Say nothing at all at this point. You no longer care about the relationship and stop putting effort into maintaining it. The added pressure will force them to listen to you, so do it. Take whatever precautions are necessary to ensure your own safety and avoid falling prey to their manipulation. You're wasting your time trying to convince them of your viewpoint because they can be altered. They think only of themselves. Last but not least, remember to use reverse psychology. Keep your cool and prioritize your own needs if you ever find yourself dealing with narcissists. Alright, today's quota for this video is up. Thank you very much for watching and have a nice day.